Hello, hola, I'm your girl, Rena Mo Money. Thank you so much for joining me today or coming back today. Well, today, yes, I have another good one for you. We're going to talk about the updates with the rent and the housing market in 2022. You know, there's a lot going on and I got some update information that I need to share with you. So come on in. We all know rent is changing, the buying market has changed, and the housing crisis is on the rise. So let's go over the new happenings. I have video after video that's gonna help you crush it, crush it, crush it, and make more money, and more money, and more money. I'm also going to show you the update on the last house, that one that we got from nothing but text blasting. We get a lot of deals from text blasting, which is one of the marketing tools that I always preach. And I always say, make sure you have that line in the water. So without further delay, I want to hit these updates and hit all this information that you need to help you stay abreast on what's going on with your craft. If you're working in the real estate industry as a realtor, as a wholesaler, as an investor, or whatever niche you're doing in real estate, you already know across the board, whatever state you're in, there are multiple offers on all properties that are for sale. With the lack of inventory, the likelihood of a crash is possible. Inflation is at a 40 year high across the world. There are double digits equity growth. We are going up and up. A cool down is bound to happen. Again, things will start to normalize. And I think I talked about that on the last video when you start seeing the interest rate start creeping up, which is happening now, and it'll probably get to about 5.35, 5.4, you'll start seeing things normalize. Because one thing about life and one thing about history, if this happened, then that. If this happened, then this. And you probably learned that if this, then that. And that's pretty much the same in real estate and the same with history. The feds met last month to start increasing the housing interest rates, the gas tax. The feds are looking at a change. Affordability will continue to be demised. 1.5 million permits to build new homes have been pulled. Redfin found rent went up in 50 states in 2022. The I buy your program with Zillow will be ending. If you are a potential home buyer in 2022, in certain cities, you may want to wait. And I'm gonna tell you why I say you may want to wait. In certain cities, there are some places it is actually better to rent. And we'll go over that. But before I go over that, as I'm giving you this information and these updates, you make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already subscribe i randomly select new subscribers and i mention them on the next Rena more money plus youtube video so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so if you're a potential buyer if you're a potential home buyer you may want to wait and we'll go over those cities in austin texas home ownership has exploded in cost it's more expensive to buy home buyers are paying 80 percent more so it's probably better to rent there if you're on the West Coast, renting is better than buying at this time in 2022. Now things may change, things happen, and it's definitely gonna change. It's definitely going to be a correction. But as of right now, if you're on the West Coast, renting is better than buying. The situation is even worse in California. So take some time and educate yourself. But at any rate, still with all these changes, you still have to continue to have your lines in the water. What's lying in the water, you ask? Lines in the water is your marketing pieces, your marketing tools, whatever that may be, your online marketing, all the marketing things. And we have some videos in reference to marketing. So you will always need to keep marketing going as you're in this real estate, regardless of what niche you are participating at. So let's go over some of the places where it's better to buy a house than rent. It's better to buy a house than rent places like Miami, places like Oklahoma City, Places like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Memphis. Memphis is 22% cheaper to rent. It's 22% cheaper to rent. Mississippi, that's another place that's better to rent than to buy at this time. Again, this video was done April 2022. Things change, but I'll keep you updated on these changes. I always keep you abreast so that you can either save money or make money. Augusta, Georgia is also 20% cheaper to buy. So take some time out. Keep in mind the West Coast right now, renting is better. And on the East Coast, it seems as if uh, buying may still be better in some states. So if you are in a state that I just called out, take some time out to decide whether or not it's time for you to buy a house. Um, 
At any rate, again, if you are an investor, you should be still finding the right deals. The numbers have to work, so you should still be buying. There are still sellers out there that are interested in getting out of certain situation. Foreclosure is gonna start, but again, it's not gonna be a big ball of foreclosure. It's not quite time for that yet, and I'll let you guys know that as well. Historically, the more that home prices and home ownership go up above the underlying rental rates in a market, the more likely is that market will have a big crash. Some places get priced out, so be mindful of that. Before we go into some more updates about real estate, I wanna give my shout outs. I gotta give these shout outs. Here you go, here, take a look. I'm shining on you, clapping on you. Give yourself a hand. I so appreciate you coming back on this channel. Again, thank you, thank you. You're here, you're streaming across here. Getting more on the investor end, we like cities where we can demand higher rents, especially if you are a landlord. So if you're a landlord or if you're an investor that have branched outside of your backyard, and what I mean by backyard, outside of where you live, outside of that city, if you've already branched out, it is good right now for investors to go where the demand for rent is high. You have some places the rent has increased 300 to $800 a month. So you have some tenants that's struggling a little bit. You have some homeowners that are struggling a little bit. So again, that's a good time to jump in. There's always a good time to be a real estate investor. So keep that in mind. I want to show you that update on the house that we had before pictures where it was done by an e-blast just a simple e-blast. We sent out an e-blast, we got a response, we sent over the contract within 10 hours, we had everything going and closed within six days. Here is that property, take a look at the after, and this is from an e-blast. So always, always continue to market, even with these bad reviews, even with these bad updates, all the sorrow of the crashes. And here, take a look at that. And if you want more information like this, then join the channel. Make sure you click on that subscribe, turn on that little belly thing so it'll let you know every time I bring myself on here to give you these tips and tools and valuable information. There is a lack of affordable housing across the board. The squeeze is so happening. Rent is doubling and tripling in other places. The rate of eviction is higher now. The landlords are increasing the rents due to a variety of reasons. One is because of the high prices in insurance and materials. And also there's a large amount of landlords that are trying to recoup the losses from COVID, recoup the rent loss from COVID where folk could not pay, went months and months without payment. And now we're on to the next phase where now the economy, the rental protection has dried up. A lot of that money that they were dumping for that, it's drying up. Some is still there, some at more places than others. But keep in mind, these are things that are happening. The average rent has soared up. One third of households are not earning enough money. And that's a major problem. We've always had that problem, but we're gradually slow seeing monies creep up. We're gradually slow seeing the rates um, the hourly rate creep creep up, but it's just not enough. I know there's a lot of cities that you need to make at least $20 an hour just to afford a two bedroom in some cities. And that's a two bedroom in a low income area. So it's very competitive out there. The supply is very limited, very limited. There's bidding wars going on with the investors and the realtors. The realtors can't seem to get their clients a place. And here's another thing, here's what's happening. The clients are going to have to compromise in what they want and what they can afford because <laughs> because the prices are crazy and they're rising monthly. I would say this, how things are going, it's going to continue in 2022 and it's gonna tap into some of 23. And I tell you, it's, it's not going to change this year. You have folks are taking on roommates to buy them time. They're looking for alternative living and arrangements. Some are even going back home. I'm, as an investor, as a realtor, as a landlord, we need to prepare for every possible situation. And on this channel, again, we're gonna have videos to go over every possible situation when the foreclosures get ready to hit, how to capitalize on that. Matter of fact, I have some videos. Make sure you take some time out, go down the channel. I have videos on how to capitalize on inflation, how to capitalize on certain bad situations. All right, all right. I've given a lot of updates and I have some more updates, but I want to give you those golden nuggets that I have for you. So the boom, boom nugget for today is Service Credit Union. Now they're based out of New Hampshire. It's a federal charter credit union. 
What you should do is look to see if you qualify for this union. They offer business and personal products, business and personal product loans. There's no annual fees. Service credit union is nationwide, but similar to Navy Federal. I am not a financial advisor, nor I'm an accountant. I'm here to help you crush it in real estate, help you crush it with your finances and your business. So make sure you check that out. Another boom, boom nugget I want to give you on the previous video, I talked about investing in gold during inflation time. Take some time, look at that video. That's very informative too, about some of the things that you need to invest in during the inflation, how you can still make money during inflation. Well, I wanted to give you one of the stocks and the ETF of gold. The stock tickler symbol is AUD, or you can check out AGG, or you can check out the gold buying apps. If you wanna know how to invest in stocks and ETFs, you can look down in the description, sign up with Weeble. I love Weeble because you can actually trade. You can start to learn how to do day trading and trading, or you can just buy you some growth stocks and let them sit there. They are given anywhere from two to 10 stocks at this time with a $1,500 value with using my link. So look down in the description below. Matter of fact, there are so many resources for you to check out. All right, so if you need some help with that, we don't have a mentorship program yet, or if you cannot afford someone's mentorship program, and you need that coaching call, you need that one-on-one, -on -one, feel free, look down in the description. I offer coaching calls. So schedule a coaching call with me. It's a one-on-one -on -one session. So those are the updates and what's going on. The best way to arm yourself is with the knowledge and insight. That's really the best way to arm yourself. Educate yourself, have the knowledge and the insight. I hope this information was helpful. Make sure you always stay to the end. Make sure you click on another Rena Mo Money video. Check out what will benefit you look at it and learn from it. Thank you again and you take care.